I, I was born and raised in New York City, but we moved around a lot when I was a kid. There was a lot of cross-country moving, so I went, I went to 17 different schools. Yeah, it's true, 17 different schools. There was one year we moved around so much, I didn't even go to school. It was the fourth grade. So I have certain holes in my education. <laughs> There's things you learn in the fourth grade I just never learned. I got a son in the fourth grade now. He came home the other day, told me they were learning all about Lincoln's assassination. I thought to myself, assassinated. So that's what happened to that guy. <laughs> I got four kids. That's a lot of kids. I know to some of you, four kids is considered a good start. <laughs> but frankly, you don't really need that many children. It's ostentatious. The only time anyone's ever seen a family in New York City with four kids is maybe once a year when they show on TV the sound of music. You got four kids in New York, they're expected to be wearing lederhosen and singing Edelweiss. Here's, here's the problem with having that many kids. You're outnumbered. And sooner or later, they figure it out. <laughs> I remember one time I went up to one of my kids and I said, I said, get in there and clean up your room. You know what he says? He says, there's four of us, there's two of you. Why don't you get in there and clean up my room? <laughs> as long as we're talking, let's talk about my allowance, shall we? That's a nice Ford minivan you and mommy are driving. Be a shame if something were to happen to it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kids, they don't know the choices they have, the technology. They're always hocking me for stuff. Dad, you gotta give me an iPad, iPod, poke in the eye. They want all the eye stuff. <laughs> you know what I tell them? I said, we didn't have iPads when I was a kid. You know what we played with when I was a kid? A slinky. Circular metal wire. We played with coil. It was half a step up from playing with industrial waste. <laughs> It's like you play with it one day, it'll get all bent and tangled. The rest of your childhood, you played with bent, tangled metal coil. That was it. I was lucky to have to. I remember to hock my dad. Dad, you gotta give me a slinky. All the other kids got slinkies. Gotta have a slinky. You know what my father told me? He said, we didn't have slinkies when I was a kid. So you know what we played with when I was a kid? A box of dirt. That's what we played with. A box of dirt. I was lucky to have it to my father, your grandfather. You know what he played with? Just dirt, no box. It was the family dirt. They smuggled it in from the old country. And he was lucky. His father, my grandfather, your great-grandfather, you know what he played with? Nothing. They couldn't even afford dirt. They were dirt poor. And you know what they're doing on the iPads? It's just another way to watch TV. That's all it is. They're walking around, they got Netflix, they got Hulu, they got Amazon, they got 5,011 channels. You know what I tell my kids? I said, we didn't have all these channels when I was a kid. You know how many channels we had when I was a kid? We had two. We had NBC and ABC. We were so poor, we couldn't even afford CBS. <laughs> I was lucky to have it too. You know what my father watched when he was a kid? A box of dirt. <laughs> we sat and looked at a box of dirt for three hours, then we went to bed. And kids don't read, my kids don't read books. They don't have to, they wanna find something out. Bing, Google, bing, Wikipedia. When I was a kid, you wanted to learn something, you had to read it in books, we had books. I was lucky to have them too, you know what my father had when he was a kid? No, he had books too, but he kept them in a box of dirt, we don't know why. He had dirty books, we don't know. I didn't ask questions.